Mihal Mihal Quest. Mihal Quest. This is this is pretty much the greatest game of all time. To begin. You wake up in a smelly jail cell. You have no recollection of getting here in the first place, but that's not important. What matters is how you do you escape. So you either go through the red door or keep going down the hallway. I'm gonna go through the red door because red things are usually good. Oh, it's Larry Bundy Jr. The room is already lit up, so it's not hard to examine it and determine that it is pretty fucking ugly. He keeps staring at you with his cartoon eyes and the big-ass grin on his face. I can either try to talk to him or punch him. Or go back to the hallway. Since I'm already here, I might as well talk. <laughs> There's a Larry Bundy Jr. shaped hole in the wall. What's in it? Oh, it's absolutely nothing. I can go through the corridor, or I can beat the shit out of him. <laughs> I always wanted to beat the shit out of Guru Larry, so might as well. Oh, okay. He stares at you for a bit, and then he begins to further open his mouth. Then he begins to suck you in. You've just got forward. I, I wouldn't say that's a bad ending. Oh, what would happen if I, uh... If I, ju if I just go down the hall, go down the corridor. Oh, there's a Larry Bundy, Bundy Jr. shaped door that leads to a bunch of cool animals. Yeah, there's the Windows 7 koala, there's rat, iconic rat. I'm convinced those are not real animals. Most animals just look like gen genetically engineered creatures of the night. It's so dumb, I hate you, Mihao. Mihao, Mihao, Mihao. Uh, continue onward or take a nap in the comfy bed. That's probably a trap, so I'll keep going. Oh, it's the anime bitches room. Kiri giri, kiri 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 jiri. There's no way I can save data here. You have to keep track of who you destroyed. Okay, I have to be honest now. You enter what seems to be some kind of reception room. I'm in the famous Mihal Mihal HQ. <laughs> Door 57, 94, 97. <laughs> Door 54, 97, 247. You enter the room on the left. It's an office. Sitting behind the desk is a software engineer named Matt Mark Mark Andreessen. Mark Andreessen. It appears as he's doing work, but he's actually using Know Your Meme, adding numerous pictures of <laughs> pictures. Of <laughs> okay, let's back out. Behold your eyes stands for one and only me, Mihal, the dude behind all those masks. I'll, I finally get to beat the shit out of Mihal. You settle for a one-on-one -on -one duel. Try as you might. Me avoids all your attacks. You keep punching only to hit nothing. The more tired you get, the heavier your eyelids are, and before you know it, it all fades to pitch black. Game over. So I died of exhaustion because I can't kill this bitch. Incredible. Holy fucking shit, it's Homestuck. This could be one of the good ones or the evil ones. I'm gonna charge at it at full force. I will fucking kill Homestuck. Homestuck is dead. Should be ashamed of yourself, really. I kind of am. Why is her, why is her blood purple? Why is there Gamzee blood on on the floor? What I am not Gamzee. This this little white paste on the floor doesn't represent me. It doesn't represent anything I do. Holy fucking shit! It's Ralph the movie. <laughs> Talking about some movie about robots trying to save Christmas or something. Kurt Cameron shit. Hell yeah. You don't really follow because it's fucking boring. Anime bitches room again, let's kill the duck. All the other buttons disappear. The floor beneath you starts opening and then you land down and down and... Oh, my fall was broken by 30 mattresses and... and it's shit word. He's gonna, he's gonna judge me. I'm gonna fucking lie to him, I killed the upside down. Squidward looks at you with his usual disapproving look. It doesn't seem like he really means it though. After his monologue, Squidward pulls out a cup of tea out of nowhere and claims it will lead you to success. Then he disappears like a pussy. He just vanishes. Also suddenly I'm in his house, which is great. I always wanted to be in Squidward house in real life. I just realized I haven't had tea in like... A long time. Holy fucky shit, it's Kermit. He's real. There's a frog drinking tea by the window. That's right, there's a window and you can see the surface from here. The exit is within my reach. <laughs> he says something in Georgian, but I don't understand because I'm not Georgian. It's fine though, I never wanted to be Georgian. Kermit grabs your hand and takes you outside, guarding you. Guarding you through the fake New York City. I made it. I made it out of Mihal. 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 
Mihal dungeon. All right, smelly jail cell again. I'm gonna approach it peacefully. This okay, never mind. It's Gamzee now. Uh, watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> this movie is fucking stupid. It's about some guy from rural Tur Turkey that has superpowers, but it's a pretty, it's a pretty mediocre comedy. The movie folks though, they seem to be fond of it. Yet another reason never to trust critics. Oh, oh, is that Mike? <laughs> Mar Mark Anderson? I don't know how to pronounce his name. Anderson. Anderson. I am so tired. You carry the body with Mr. Swag to the next room and there's a cell there and it has famous cartoonist Butch Hartman. I hope I never actually meet Butch Hartman so he doesn't sue me. <laughs> Butch pulls out his pen and just as he's about to draw, he begins laughing in an oddly British manner. What the <laughs> You can finally see through the disguise, it's Larry Bundy Jr., but also Butch Hartman. They're the same person. I fucking knew it. You give the sign, Mr. Swag charges at the monster. Seconds after, you see Butch Hartman with a sword pierced through him. An ominous laughter can be heard, followed by, Hello you, I'm Guru Larry, and I welcome you to your new home. I don't actually know what Guru Larry sounds like, because I haven't watched any of his videos. I just look at his funny face, and... His stupid fat smile. Oh, that was a game over. <laughs> Alright, Larry. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Mr. Swag thanks Butch and says that today has been a rough day. And you all should hang out. I'm gonna hang out with Butch now. <laughs> I'm a woman. Finally. Push up a manhole in, a, in Swag City. You can do various swag activities. It's a cool ass ending. I'm satisfied with this, but I'll take another path, why not? I hate it when I'm aware of my own death. Oh shit, yes, there's more anime bitches. Uh, she only speaks in upside down language, that's a shame. Time to examine the other guests. Oh, they look like they're having fun. Why is Rin passed out? Umi soda tastes just like Umi. It's it with them and chill. Oh, I'm getting drunk. Oh no. <laughs> it's the room of gaming. Why is Aeromanga Sensei in the background? Oddly enough, John Tron isn't gaming in the room of gaming. He's watching Aeromanga, uh, Aeromanga Sensei. I actually haven't watched Aeromanga. I I don't want to. Cause I, I, it looks mediocre. Let's see what this show is like. John Tron stays, stays silent for most of the time, except whenever something sexual happens. In which case, he cycles between these three reactions. He just keeps transforming. <laughs> you begin wondering why... Why would anyone watch this? But then you realize you can't stop. You end up watching the entire season in two ovas. You try to stand up and progress, but John Tron stops you and puts episode one on again. And so you waste another four hours. And another, and another. Game over. I would be fine, like... Rotting to death, watching Edo Manga Sensei with uh, with John Tron. I'm actually John Tron. I challenge 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 him to a duel of gaming. He hasn't done gaming in like four years. You throw an N64 controller at John Tron and challenge him to a game of Diddy Kong Racing. I have no idea what the game is like, so let's just say you fucked John up. Me, how play Diddy Kong Racing or I'll I'll ruin your entire online career. Just please play Diddy Kong Race. As a sign of respect, John Tron gives you the gamer path. Wait, is that is that the ending? <laughs> He just goes back to watching Aero Manga Sensei. I escape through the way of gaming. The Nepeta route, where I kill Nepeta. Ah, uh, duck. He genuinely means it. He determines that you're quite a brutal person. Not completely evil, but you treated the homestuck wrong. And killed a poor duck. So he thinks you're violent. Is he right? No, it was, uh, I didn't. I, I didn't. I yet. He then decides that you are not worthy of escaping this hellhole. Given you no chance to redeem yourself, he disappears without a trace, the lights go out, you're stuck here for the rest of your days. Even the like, game overs are satisfying, I just want to keep finding out everything there is to know about this stupid game. Holy shit, it's a software engineer named Mark Anderson. And Andreessen. I hope I save him. <laughs> software engineer named Mark Andreessen. <laughs> Oh, that's how you pronounce it, Andreessen. <laughs> Is that Did You Know Gaming? <laughs> I can't believe it, it's Mark Andreessen, right? Excuse me? You follow Butch and conveniently end up in the Butch Hartman headquarters. He says that you're now gonna have to help him make his shitty streaming service. You have victoriously escaped the Michal dungeon, but you have yet to, dis yet to escape the dungeon of capitalism. <laughs> Kirigiri, Kirigiri.
247. You know what? I'm I'm not going through 247. I can't trust anime. Man. Can't trust the worst anime adaptation of a video game that's ever it's been made in the wild. So let's go to room room 54 and its face. Its face. I'm going to duel Swagman. Oh, I, I died to Swagman. Mark Andreessen. You refuse the offer. A software engineer named Mark Andreessen laughs and shows you something. It's a new meme. You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny. You can't stop. Tears run down your face. But it's not funny, and yet you can't stop looking. New meme is eternal. New meme is always new. I'm Mark Andreessen, my VC firm Andreessen Horo Wordwitz invests the 550 million in red, in red. Everyone is Red Muppet I don't know the name of. My favorite Muppet. This reminds me of a movie called uh, Sausage Party. I love Seth Rogen. I love it when Seth Rogen is funny. Oh, I'm with Umi now. Great. I'm going to chill with Umi, like I always wanted to. I wish Umi would force feed me her foot sweat. <laughs> she is woken up. She's leading me to the light. She has a nice hat. I wish I knew what it was called. The more you look, the more you feel like she's gonna say something racist. Smiles you asking if you like the Jokra movie. These bitches do seem really racist, honestly. Okay, yeah, I, okay, I, I admit it, I did like the Jokra movie. I didn't actually watch it yet. You then begin to have a conversation which somehow involves evolves into this girl saying a bunch of racial slurs. But that doesn't matter as you approach the exit. You escape and got a girlfriend with controversial political opinions. I'm okay with with being forever in wedlock with racist Umi. I couldn't ask for anything more. Thank you so much, Mihal, for Mihal, Mihal, Mihal. Michael. <laughs>